so you do need to down download part one of this for part two to work. So the mod, um, so Woohoo Wellness part two, quick instructions. You have each disease, each of the diseases. All these, um, actual real life <laughs> transmittable diseases. But they have created, as you can see, more sim equivalent. If you use the fake name version, the fake diseases are a little different. Um, there will be additional fake diseases. Yes, I want the disease to turn the sims fake. <laughs> the names of the fakes are these. The stinks, the pee infection, the bladder fire, the yolks, the foamy infection, the mighty itch, the parasite infection, the outspread parasite infection. So how do woohoo transmitted diseases work? I've just butchered saying WTDS, sorry. So it says WTDS are caught through unprotected woohoo. UTIs and yeast infections can happen anytime, but the rest will not happen unless the sim with food with has a disease they can pass on. Transmission rates. For the sim world, out of out of outbreak herpes is not contagious. You see, yeast and UTI not either. Everything else can be seen transmitted. Risk of diseases being symptomatic or not are based on realised statistics per gender per disease. That's interesting. That's actually really cool that, that the thought went into that for this. So yeah, diseases are fully aso asymptomatic asymptomatic. Oh, I'm so bad with my English today. <laughs> All the gradual symptoms. If symptomatic at first, a sim will be asymptomatic when symptoms start to increase. For example, UTI will get worse quickly if treated for a long time. Not only does it get worse, but kidney failure may happen. Oh, so this... This is interesting, which will send your into the hospital and they may suffer permanent consequences. A yeast infection will, oh, will get worse quickly than stabilised. It won't go away until treated. Same with symptomatic cases of gonorrhea and chlamydia. If fully asymptomatic, the sim will not be aware of anything but will be able to transmit the disease. Getting tested will reveal it. Also, some of these diseases have extremely similar symptoms. I've reading this wrong, sorry. <laughs> For that reason they may share symptoms and movements and some like notes because the sim can't know what which it is. For example, gonorrhea and chlamydia share this way. So, it says sims in the world will now have the chances to get diseases around them. So will, so will your sims. The first time the mod is installed, all their years of unprotected woohoo catching up with them. You don't want them to be sick, use cheeks, kill them of everything. They can be automatically given diseases only once and always after the first installation of the mod. You can manually give diseases through cheats, sh shift click on your active sim with testing cheats on. So it says how sims can get diseases diagnosed and cured. Go to the doctor if experience symptoms, go get tested otherwise. In both cases, if a disease is found, the sim will get medication in their inventory. Hey guys, um, so we're in game. I've just made two random sims, um, where is it? Oh yeah. I've basically, what I've done is, through cheats, I've basically given this sim a WTD. Now I'm going to show you what you'd have to do to give them them if they don't already have So what you do, you'd put in testing cheats on... You would then you can do it with your household sims, or you can do it with any other sims in the world. So what you would do, you would right-click your sims. I'm not I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be able to do it, but then you can you you can choose if they're undiagnosed, diagnosed, undiagnosed, symptomatic, asympt symptomatic, and undiagnosed asymptomatic. Um, so what I will say, and I will I will do it again. Um, Sims, you can go and send them. Or what is it? Now, what I think is cool, if your sim has a WTD, which I'll show you if it works. Here, what I'm gonna do quickly, just so I can see what this looks like. Uh, where is it? Da, 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 da. Okay, so my sims game is just weird. So you get a book here and it says, at the doctor. 
from ongoing medical visits. Sophia is trying not to get too embarrassed as her woohoo wellness doctor visit goes on. Okay. So she has just got back from having a test and it says Sophia is completely free of WTDs. Good to know. And it says disease free from getting tested. Okay. Will you stop cleaning the toilet? Jeez. Oh. Ah. Uh, uh, so, I know I haven't had the buff come up to say that he's. What is it? Oh dear. Right. So Wei has been diagnosed with the parasite. See the panel. See the tray panel for more information. Wayne has been diagnosed with a mighty itch. See the trait panel for more information. So very sad. Terrible news. Wayne has been diagnosed with a parasite. Life changing bad news. He will have to take medication for the rest of his life. Not to mention go to the doctor on a regular basis to check that the parasite spread is limited enough to not risk further immune damage or transmitting its offspring. How did this happen? Not to forget, where did Wayne catch this disease? Wayne will need time to digest the news. At least it's been caught early enough so that Wayne should be safe from further harm so long as he takes the prescribed medication. And then you have another one. What a curse from the mighty itch di diagnostic. So what's the problem behind Wayne's occasional dis disturbing symptoms? The mighty itch, a permanent condition and one any sim would be distraught about. It is manageable, manageable and when in between outbreaks barely contagious but still it is so embarrassing and outbreaks are mighty uncomfortable this will remain hard to live with Ooh, so these are quite detailed which is quite cool like, I'm, I'm i've installed the non-realistic ones so it's like i don't know what these would be Traits panel. Let's see. Oh, cool. So yeah, right. Um, the sim has the parasite. They must take medication for it not to harm their immune system. Gr immune system grow to grow any further. So long as they take their medication, sims who have the parasite will keep pa will keep the parasite under control and dis dra drastically reduce the possibility of transmitting its offspring to woohoo partners. Anti-parasitic therapy may have some side effects, especially early on. The sim will suffer occasional outbreaks of the mighty hitch. Woohoo enduring an outbreak is very likely to contaminate one's partner, so this sim has to be careful. So I'm assuming if you click this, yep, you can get parasite levels checked. That's interesting. So I'm curious, can we now go tell our partner? So let's see. Complain about problems, ask to start birth control, that's from part one. Woohoo and wellness. Oh. So you can accuse your sim of having given them one of these and you or you can announce you can announce it and it's the same for these two ah that's interesting that's really interesting so it said now in the description it said sims can lie about their WTDs. So I'm curious to see if he will lie. So let's find out. Okay, so let's see how this goes down. Can Kubu Koiba? Hmm. Ah, yes! So he's lied to her. Now, Will it be the same again if we ask again? Because it says Sims can lie. Oh wait, never mind. My mistake. Um, basically, you have to wait a few Sim hours to ask um, the Sims partner all of interest if they have WDs. Which is very 
inter like I think that's really cool part of the mod that like other sims can lie if they do have something. So I'm gonna do this and see what happens. Blur a cake. Shuva. Uh, 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 oh. Shupaza Quar Nivda Dimbo. Oh, this is sweet. Accept accepted no matter what. Wayne shot a love interest about his permanent WTD and they reacted rather well. Wayne feels accepted by them and realizes that a relationship with them would be possible no matter his condition. Some sims would get afraid or judge, but not this sim. That's so sweet. That is really sweet. Um, oh, she's got a buff as well. No, I accept it no matter what. From Love Interest's confession. This Love Interest of Sophia just told her that they have a permanent WTD. Well, this will not stop Sophia. She realises that such things are manageable with medication and responsible behaviour and should not turn her, her away from this sim. If anything, she gained more respect for them because they've been honest and they've been must and they must be strong to live with these issues. I really like this is really detailed, like honestly I do recommend getting part one because I think it's available to the public now, I think. And then when part two comes, I highly recommend this. I think part three they said they were focusing on redoing the adoption system, which will be really cool to see. Um, but I highly recommend this mod. Um, I'm really sorry for console players because honestly, I think even you guys would love this. It just like kind of gives like a, it gives like a more in depth story between like Sims as well, like. That's the vibe I'm getting, and it's really cool. So I'm curious to know now if we can. Oh, you can. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna cheat, and I am going to give her. the mighty itch. So I'm gonna send her off. Woohoo enormous. Get parasitic levels checked. I'm gonna go do that. Just while she gets back as well. Ouch! From partner's accusations, what kind of behaviour is that for Sophia's partner to accuse Sophia of having been responsible for this WTD issue they're having? So maybe she is, and maybe she isn't. Still, that's rude. Maybe Sophia should accuse them in turn. Ah. Feeling lethargic from taking parasite treatment. A heavy fatigue is taking over waiting. The doctor warned this may happen at the beginning of anti-parasitic therapy. Better take it easy. I'm kind of interested to see where this mod will go next, if I'm being honest. Because honestly, this mod is so good. Um, so where is she? Now we're going to go here. And we're going to go here. And then she's gonna go accuse him. Copper Lorsh We know Hard Vambophobo. From being accused of cheating. Well I guess that WTD made it clear that Wayne had been running around behind the pa this partner's back. Maybe like maybe Wayne can still lie his way through this. Um, I know I haven't really done a proper review. I know it isn't the best review, but I highly recommend that you go if you can support this mod. If not, I would highly recommend it when it becomes free to the public. I believe it's going to be October 5th or October 15th. I will post the link in the description to their Patreon page and to part one of the mod. I really hope you enjoyed this review, so I will see you guys in the next video.